Have you been using candles incorrectly all your life without even realizing it? In this video I show you what everyone should be aware of with candles but unfortunately almost nobody does. Because have you been putting out candles incorrectly all your life? If you simply blow them out then that's exactly what you shouldn't do in future. There is a much better way to put out candles that has several advantages and all you need is a sharp object. Preferably one made of metal. But you can also use a wooden one if you're quick enough. Because what you should do with this is dip the wig into the liquid wax. This means that you simply press the wig down so that it goes into the liquid wax once. This causes the flame to go out immediately. The first advantage is that there is now absolutely no smoke. So you no longer have the problem of fuming up the whole flat just because you blow out the candles. In addition you now have a thin layer of wax around the wig. This means you'll be able to relight them much more quickly and easily next time. Therefore in future you should only light candles as you can see here. It is also important how long you leave the candle burning in general, especially with candles in a jar. It is important that you only put them out once the top layer of wax has completely melted. This means that you should not always put the candle out when it's in this state as you can see in my case. This causes a larger hole to form in the center. The candle will no longer burn evenly and you will end up with leftover wax. It is therefore best to always wait at least until the entire upper surface has become liquid. Then you can put the candle out and it will always have the same level over the entire surface. What you should also always do is cut off the wick of your candle, not the entire wick of course, as you can see here. You should cut it off at a very specific point and this really has enormous advantages for you. In most cases the candle wick is far too long and this causes various problems. If the wick is too long the candle will not burn evenly. This results in something like what you can see here. I'm sure the whole thing sounds familiar to you, but there are other problems too. Usually a slightly larger spot forms at the top of the wick every time you relight the candle. This ensures that it smolders and smokes at least for the first few seconds. But if you shorten the wick regularly this will no longer happen. The wick only needs to be very short, just a few millimeters are enough as you can see here. This means that whenever you put out a candle you should make sure to cut off the wick at this point in future. And did you know that putting candles in the freezer is a brilliant advantage? You can find out exactly how this trick works by clicking on the video you see on the screen now.